Hey guys, it's Drew Brash through with DBB Audio. I am here with the Behringer Wing, and on this video, I'm wanting to dive into the matrix processing of this board. Now, one of the benefits of having four main mix buses is that we can do some very different things that we wouldn't be able to normally do on, say, the X32. One of my favorite things is to have a band bus that I can do some very discrete, independent compression on just the band, and some very independent, discrete things on the vocals. So I can actually compress the vocal bus differently than the band bus. And what that will do is that will allow me to keep the vocals just slightly higher than the band throughout the entire service or show. So right now I'm going to show you how to get a matrix set up with the main buses feeding that. And there's also one little secret thing about this new matrix section of the Behringer Wing that I'm very excited about. So let's go ahead and dive in. So here I have my band bus and my vocal bus independent of each other. So here's my band bus. And here's my vocal bus. You are always in. And these are both feeding my matrix. And I have my matrix set up as the main PA right here. So if I go and select this, we can see everything that's happening on the main PAs, which includes a slight limiter for keeping the volume peaks down to a minimum. On the main bus, I am feeding these directly to the matrix section. So we can go and like, take a look at my band bus. And we can see right here that I have eight matrix sends and I am sending the, my band bus to the main PA at zero dB. I am sending my vocal bus to the main PA at 0 dB as well. So when I unmute these, I am getting a full signal on my PA. Now additionally, we can do this with the mix buses. So if I went back over to my mix buses and I select mix bus one, I can send directly from this mix bus to any of my matrices, which is very beneficial. Now let's go ahead and set up a recording feed of my main buses. So I'm gonna pull up my main buses here and my matrices here. And I'm going to do this on matrix number two. And I'm going to title this record and I am going to give it a light of red. I'm going to then take this up to zero, and now I am going to get my band bus and my vocal bus going into this. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to select my main bus, go to the last page, and I'm going to turn this on and turn this up to zero dB. I am then going to go to my vocal bus and do the same thing. Once I have those set, I can now hear audio out of this. So I'm going to solo the recording bus, and we're going to play. So I have full volume control over this. And what we can also do with this, which is very cool, is we have this thing called matrix input, which allows us to choose two channels independently on the console. And this is two channels per matrix. So I have eight matrices. So I can use any channel that I want on this console directly to this matrix. Now, this is going to be very beneficial if you have some crowd mics that you're wanting to mix into your band mix and vocal mix and only have those hitting the recording bus. So let's go ahead and do that. I have a crowd mic here and a crowd mic here. And I'm going to set these up as pre-fader because I don't want to have any of my mixing of crowd mics to accidentally go through the PA. Because if you did that, you might have some feedback if you accidentally set it up in the wrong way. So once we have this set for the crowd out and crowd in, we can simply turn it on. So I'm going to go ahead and play some music and we can add in these crowd mics.
struggle through the garden following a serpent tempted much your love ran after me now, because this is my recording bus, I can also use this for feeding stream. And so we could even stream this to the web. And when we're doing that, we want to make sure that we have a certain mastering that is going on on this to hit a certain volume level. And so we can insert a precision limiter on this matrix to actually do that for us. So I'm going to select the pre-fader insert point, go and select a free effects processor, and go and find my precision limiter. Once I have that here, we can turn it up and we can start adjusting this. So I'm going to set my output gain to negative one. And what I can do is I can start adding up gain. And depending on how much volume you need to add in with your mastering, you can do that with the precision limiter. So that's one really efficient way of using a matrix to set up a recording feed or a web feed for your stream. Additionally, we can use the matrix section to feed any other instances where we need sound, say a cry room or a lobby. And we can do alternate processing to this matrix specifically for that room. For instance, we could apply an EQ curve if the speakers need to be a little bit more bright, or we can even reduce some of the low end if there is too much low end in those speakers. So that brings me to the conclusion of my video about the matrix processing. You can use this to really tune your room and your needs with this console. Thank you so much for watching.